Welcome back, everyone. Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Cervalski. The EA Sports broadcast team is fired up to bring you this one here tonight. Ray, how special is it to don the colors of your country? I got to do it four times, James. Some of the most proud moments of my career. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. Let's do this. The puck is dropped. We're underway. Nice zone entry from the middle. Big time stop there. Slides it across to Nordstrom. Sweden's got it in the offensive zone. Great reach with the poke check. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. Slides the puck to Larson. Intercepts the pass. Here's a short pass to Darlene. Takes control of the puck. Shuts him down. Sweden's moving it along the wing. Fires the one-timer. Stops him with a glove. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Sweden's got it in the offensive zone. He scores! The offensive zone faceoff gives them the jump on puck possession. Shortly thereafter, it's in the net. That faceoff is the key, though. Team Sweden's got the position that every coach loves, the lead. Then you can use your bench, then you can use all of the combinations you might think will work for you. You've got a little bit of a cushion with a one goal lead. Slides the puck down low. What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there, gets the pad flat to make the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Team Sweden's up one zip. Finland's got a hold of the puck. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Dead eyes up on the play. Back to the blue line. No room for that one to get through. And puts the body into it a little bumper car hockey. Goaltender's out to play the puck. Slides it up front. Steps across the blue line. Team Finland's got the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Gustafsson. Passes it over to Asplund. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Shot! And he makes the save. hit he laid the shoulder in it's a clean hit there'll be no penalty that's a devastating hit and that's turned aside and now he moves it quickly to letting it and sees the rest of it and we've got ourselves a new game always amazes me james how one shot changes everything now this game is even He got everything behind that weight transfer. Lots of time to wind up, and the slapper beats the goalie clean. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Quick shot. Great glove save. And no luck on that pass attempt. And he's able to handle that one. Team Finland's got a hold of the puck. Oh, a violent collision against the wall. No matter what you do, that's never going to feel good. Receives the pass. Moves it to Lindholm. They're trying to engage a little physicality here. He's got a step. Sometimes you just 
get shut out of room. You've, you're in position. You want to deliver the puck, but the goalie takes everything away. All alone! Oh, what a stop on the one-on-one! -on -one. What a great play to get in on the goaltender all by himself, but turned away with an excellent save. As we get another look at this stop, really good technique on the blocker getting that puck away from the net. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Sweden's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Takes a hit on the play. Now he takes it over the line. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. And here at center, that's intercepted. And we'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of play as the horn sounds. Thanks, don't forget to get the seats you want to the games you want by purchasing one of our six-game ticket packets today. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Still tied up here as we get underway here in period number two. Takes a shot, gets some big air, but this ain't skiing, Razor. Nah, he's trying to get right up underneath the bar, trying to get it over the goaltender's shoulders, but just elevates it a little bit too much. Somebody's got a lead, and we'll see if they can increase it. This is a tough shot. You don't have a lot of room because the goaltender can use his whole upper body to make the save. High stick, he gets beat again. That's a nice shot. Taking the lead, but still lots of time to go here, Ray. That's a lot of work, James, put into just getting yourself to the front. Now you've got to play like a leader. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Oh, how did that stay out? It just misses. It stays out, James, because he... He scores! So it rains and pours. Man, they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight. Really a dominating performance. Man, look at that crowd of people in front of the net. That's like going to the bus station, trying to get onto the bus. Everybody's fighting for a position, and when the goalie finds the puck, it's just on its way past him. Finland's now gone up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two-goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, right? Of course it Simple. Is. Now a quick pass to Darlene. Puts it up front. And the intensity started to ramp up here after that hit. And that somehow stayed out of the net. And that's intercepted by Philpola. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a stop! Team Sweden's got the puck along the boards. Taken by Bemstrom. Puts it on net. Finland's got it behind the net. Sweden's got the puck along the wall. Fails to find the open man. Tees him up. Oh, what a save in front. Oh, and it's another save on the play. And it's a quick pass to Darlene. 
Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. And that pass attempt is deflected. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Sweden's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck scooped up by Gustafsson. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. That's a good scoring chance generated here, but the goalie's all over it. That's a really good save again. Well past the midway mark of this period, Team Finland's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Can't get it to go. There's a hit on the play. Couldn't make that one happen. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. On the attack along the boards. Dives in front of the shot to block it. Puck grabbed by Sepala. Takes the feed. Stops the cold. Grabs control of it at the point. Sweden's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Answers the call with a big save. Nothing doing on that. Tries to feed it over to Lemico. Moves the puck. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And he puts that one aside with ease. Feeds it to Brome. Sweden's got it in their own zone. And the middle frame almost done. Unloads a shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a chance with the stop. And they won't connect on that one. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. Looks like tripping the call. Sometimes they're lazy, sometimes they're just bad luck. Sweden's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Period comes to an end, and lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. Everything all is new again. If you wear your vintage shirt before the next game, you'll receive a good Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Perot. I'm James Sabolski. Let's do this. Sweden's power play is still intact as this period is now underway, and they take possession. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Unleashes a cannon! In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Team Sweden's got it, and they're on the attack. Drives it to the crease. Wow. He scores! Now the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. job is to create shots and if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice you're going to be successful dead center in the slot he doesn't miss Sweden's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now you can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language they know they've got a chance Sepolis lugging the puck. Pass taken behind the goal. Couldn't complete the pass. Team Sweden.
Sweden's got the puck. Here they come up along the wing. And a stick breaks that up. That pass doesn't go. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Sahal. Oh. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Moves it quickly over to Dahlin. And now he tries to get it across to Nordstrom. Here he is in front. Can't connect. Handles the puck. Here's a shot from the wall. Came up with the save on that play. Dahlin stick handling in his own zone. Freiburg's got the puck. Snaps one on net. He scores! We are tied! I like the way they've gone about this, James. They've kept working away, not taking too many chances, and their work has resulted in a tie game. Team Sweden's been pushing and pushing, and they have finally drawn even. The talk from the bench was don't get frustrated, stay with the game, and now you've set up a sprint to the finish in a tie game. Turns him away! Takes the feed, and tries to make a diagonal pass to Lettinen. Denies the shooter on that play. And he regains control of the puck. And he moves it up to Kelvin. It's a two-on-one rush! Here he is on the backhand! to take the lead. Actually, James, it's amazing to me how many times an odd man rush gets screwed up. They deliver this one perfectly, and they put one on the board. Sweden's had the puck on their stick all night long. Now they finally have a lead in the third. Yeah, but there's still a lot of time left, and they know what the coaches are talking to them about not taking a step back. Lettinen's got it in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Picked off by Gustafsson. What a wild offensive night this has been. The real crazy part is both teams are in on it. It's no runaway. Somebody is going to score a couple of goals before the end of this, and that's going to be the difference. Team Sweden's got it against the boards. Team Finland's regained possession of the puck. Klingberg's on the attack in the offensive zone. Can't keep a hold of it. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Man, this frame has been like roller derby. It is crash, crash, crash throughout this entire period. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Team Sweden's got a one-goal lead. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And his twig collapses with a chance there. Oh, that hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as My hard as he could. Goodness. Here we go. It's a two-on-one. Answered the call on that play. Things start to get a little physical out there. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Oh, he rocked them. Uh, they're trying to claw their way back into this game. Down in the game, you gotta still stay in it. There's a good hit. With possession along the wall. And he says no! Oh, what a hit! Those are the ones you feel in the morning. Team Finland's got the puck. Inside of the last minute here in this third. Great reach with the poke check by Lindholm. He got all of that hit on the play. Sends the pass over. That's not gonna fool him. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. Getting into the later stages of this period, Team Sweden's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Takes the pass. Nice pass. Finland's on the attack. Makes the save on the slapper.
Talk about smart management of your timeout situation, as they call it here. Yeah, and they need something as they want to get themselves back into this game. They're going to need a play off of this faceoff. Centers gliding up to the faceoff dots here. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. And a big face-off coming back at the other end as icing is the call. He went for it, came up short. Can't tell you what his coach is yelling, but it's not that this was a very good play. Team Finland's won the draw, and they'll go to work. They've got the puck now. He got a tired defensive group to play against. He was totally locked in on that play. And that's off a stick. Sends a pass over. Puts the puck on net. Gives them nothing in front. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. They kept getting to throw that power play back out there, James. Finally, they were able to execute and cash in on them. That was the difference. They looked really good and effective on some nights where that power play can be a bit of a clunker. Not tonight. And that'll do it for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.